salt excretion and recurrent cardiovascular disease. A study by Aline Grunland, Circulatory Health Research Center, University Medical Center Utrecht. Blood pressure control is an essential target for the prevention and management of cardiovascular disease. In adults with and without hypertension, higher sodium intake is linearly associated with higher blood pressure levels, and therefore most treatment guidelines advocate dietary sodium restriction to levels between 1.5 and 2.4 gram per day to lower the risk of cardiovascular disease. However, the effect of reduced dietary sodium on cardiovascular events remains unclear. Previous cohort studies evaluating the association between sodium intake and cardiovascular events in primary prevention populations have shown conflicting results. While some studies report a neutral or positive linear association between sodium intake and cardiovascular disease and total mortality, others demonstrate a J or U-shaped relationship between estimated sodium intake and cardiovascular disease risk with lower and higher sodium intake both being associated with higher risk of cardiovascular disease and all-cause mortality. Thus, if guideline recommendations on dietary sodium intake conflict with findings from several observational studies regarding cardiovascular risk. Since most of the evidence on the relationship between sodium and potassium intake and cardiovascular disease originated from general population studies, the question is whether the above guideline recommendations can be applied to patients with established vascular disease. Clarifying the optimal dietary sodium and potassium intake is especially important in patients with clinical manifest arterial disease, who are most likely to receive recommendations regarding dietary salt intake. Therefore, the aim of this study was to examine the relation between estimated 24-hour sodium urinary excretion as a proxy for dietary intake, as well as their ratio, and the risk of recurrent major adverse cardiovascular events, in short MACE, and all-cause mortality in a high-risk population cohort with stable cardiovascular disease. The study population consisted of patients with vascular disease, included in the Utrecht Cardiovascular Cohort Second Manifestation of Arterial Disease Cohort. This cohort is an ongoing, Prospective cohort study starting from 1996 and comprised of 18 to 79-year-old patients referred to the University Medical Center Utrecht, the Netherlands, for management of atherosclerotic disease or cardiovascular risk factors. The cohort had a median follow-up of 7.4 years. 24-hour sodium was estimated using the Kawasaki formula. Besides spot concentration of sodium and creatinine, this formula uses age, weight, and height with their corresponding constants to estimate the 24-hour salt excretion. The primary composite outcome of the study was MACE consisting of non-fatal myocardial infarction, non-fatal stroke and vascular mortality. The relationship between estimated 24-hour sodium urinary excretion and the incidence of vascular events followed a J-shaped curve with increased hazard ratios at low and high sodium urinary excretions. This was initially explored by a Cox proportional hazards model with restricted cubic splines, and confirmed by a non-linear Cox proportional hazards model, including linear and quadratic sodium urinary excretion terms. Similarly, the relationship between estimated 24-hour sodium urinary excretion and all-cause mortality followed a J-shaped curve. The optimal estimated sodium urinary excretion found was between 4.5 grams per day and 5.0 grams per day, which is generally viewed as an excess in sodium intake. To assess the likelihood of reversed causality, which could be a potential explanation for the J-shaped relationships, we performed sensitivity analysis in which we excluded patients with events within 1, 2, and 5 years after inclusion. This is demonstrated by the red green and blue lines respectively and can be compared with the black lines demonstrating the whole study population. The shape of the relation and the nadirs did not substantially differ, indicating that reverse causality is unlikely to explain the results of the main analysis. Nevertheless, it must be recognized that this approach is not absolute, and therefore reverse causality cannot be completely ruled out. 
In this observational study, which is prone to unmeasured confounding bias, the relation between estimated 24-hour sodium excretion and recurrent MACE and all-cause mortality was J-shaped, with sodium excretion above and below 4.5 to 5.0 gram per day, both being associated with higher risk of recurrent MACE and all-cause mortality. These results provide no evidence for dietary sodium restriction to levels between 1.5 and 2.0 gram per day as a means of reducing the risk of recurrent cardiovascular disease in patients with vascular disease. To provide a definitive answer to the question of which sodium target is most beneficial for patients with vascular disease, a large-scale and long-term randomized controlled trial examining different targets is needed. The relation between urinary sodium and potassium excretion and risk of cardiovascular events and mortality in patients with cardiovascular disease.